Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Burlington Productions Bullseye, and this is a 135th scale. This is going to be a two part series in which I'm going to uh, build this particular kit, and then on a the second video, I'm going to build Tamiya's M1A2 Abrams Operation Iraqi Freedom. And I'm calling this uh, diorama in which I'm going to marry this kit and this kit together into a diorama called Direct Hit. So let's go start building this particular kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing the turret and the parts for the interior, the figure the instruction sheet and the base. I want to talk to you more about the instruction sheet. The instruction sheet from Verting the Productions is basically pictures. And as you can well see, the pictures are not very uh, are not a very high quality picture and it's hard to distinguish one part from the other just by looking at this picture. What Verdina Production has done is they have numbered the parts for you to make it easier for you to assemble the kit, but the only problem is that they didn't number the, uh, the sprues on the resin. So what I've done was I took a marker and uh, put the numbers on the sprue myself. Before we start building this kit, I want to give you a safety talk about you working with resin. When you work with the resin part, it's going to be different than working with plastic. And one of the main um, differences is that a resin is more toxic than working with, with, uh, with plastic. And so you have to be careful. And also, the tools that you use to remove a resin part will be different. I'm going to use a razor saw to move the part. And by using a razor saw, it's going to generate a lot of dust when I start sawing things off. And so, I highly recommend people to wear a face mask when working with resin. Alright, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the computer model kit before painting, and it's a very nice model kit. The turret looks very nice with a very nice interior, and the groundwork is very impressive. This is only one piece, and Verding New Productions was able to 
um, mold into one piece these parts which looks uh, very realistic and of course the figures are very nice too with the great facial expressions although I like this model kit a lot I do have one small complaint building this turret was rather difficult the instructions were vague and also gluing resin parts together um, in this very complicated um, turret was difficult for me. I would have preferred that Verding Productions made this out of plastic. It would be much more easier for me to assemble. But I could really I can't really fault Verding Productions for making a uh, resin turret versus a plastic one. You see Verding Productions is a very small company compared to uh, other major manufacturers such as Dragon or Tamiya. So for them to make this out of plastic is really not cost effective. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already painted the, mo the entire model with the coat of black primer and I'm going to work with the interior first. I'm going to give the interior a tint of brown color to give it um, both soot and a little bit of rust. I'm going to give some light rusting effects. I'm going to give a wash in areas where I want some light colored rust. It's time for me to paint the exterior. I'm going to protect my model. I'm going to give the entire model a coat of future flow wax. I'm going to give my model a wash. What you see right here is the dilution of brown artist oil paint and mineral spirits and I'm going to simply give my entire model a wash. I want to talk to you more about what I've done for the base. After I painted the base, I didn't quite like the texture of the ground. So when the paint was still wet, I added uh, this uh, tile ground right here that I'm pointing at and sprinkled it all over the base to give it this better texture. I'm going to give some soot onto the turret. What you see right here that I'm pointing at is a piece of black pastel chalk and I'm going to use that chalk and simply apply it onto the model with the brush to give it a sooty appearance. I just finished painting the figure and I think I've done an okay job. Okay, so we built the model kit. We painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering. And it is a very nice 
model kit. Viridian Productions has really outdone themselves by making this diorama out of the box. And what I like about this model kit the best is the turret. The interior of the turret I painted looks really nice with all the black soot and the light rust. And of course the figures are highly detailed, very nice. I'm also impressed with Viridian Productions um, one piece base that has molded these parts that I'm pointing at right now. It looks very realistic. It's too bad that this model kit is really complicated because I know that the beginner would actually like to build a model kit like this, but it's just way too complicated for most beginners. That completes part one. So for my next video, I'm going to build Tamiya's M1A2 Abrams Operation Iraqi Freedom. Please stay tuned for that. So what you want to see next is a video slideshow of the completed model project. And so please enjoy it. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching.